Hi, this is Rebecca McKay and Morgan Espling with United Country Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Today we're at 161 Stanhope Mill Road in Lincoln. This is a three bedroom, one bathroom, double wide, built in 1981 on 16.1 acres. Let's walk up the driveway and take a look. A lot of thought has really been put into this yard. There's a big grassed area here. If you've got kids, a great place to play. Um, around us, this tree, the one in front of us and the one behind all have um, stones surrounding and perennial flowers that come up. There's also more perennials around the uh, perimeter of the house. If you step over here, <clears throat> you can see the well house is just beside the covered porch, which we'll see when we walk inside. And there's another perennial bed here. Um, and if you follow us to the other side, we'll go check out the fire pit. And here we have a fireplace that was built by the owner and his brother for his dad when he lived here. Um, it was built in 2003 and they've been using it every summer since. Over here on the front of the property, next to one of your perennial beds, you have the head unit for both of the new heat pumps on the inside. Host. If you're somebody who likes to host and have a lot of people, we walked up the large driveway, so you've got plenty of parking there. And also in front of the home, there's a lot of parking. You also have two carports that will stay. And um, so you've got parking for your lawnmower, your cars, whatever you'd like to put in there. Just off of the main entrance of the house, there is a um, hookup for a camper or RV. So there's 30 amp service here. There's water and septic available as well. To the right of the driveway, you also have a spacious shed that is being used for storage right now, but it does have brand new siding and a brand new metal roof. Let's go check out the rest of the acreage and then we'll head inside. We're gonna head up this uh, driveway that the seller has put in farther back into the land to check out the rest of the 16.1 acres. Uh, right here is the power pole closest to the house. If you'd like more information on the way this land is shaped, um, we have an interactive map that we can send you as well as a property information packet and a 3D tour of the inside of the house, which we'll see in a little bit. About 200 feet off the driveway, you've got another clearing. The current owner had planned on putting some more RV hookups or tiny homes up here and renting them out as some extra income. This is a really great lot uh, for hunting as well because you do have 16.1 acres. So if you're someone who's looking for uh, an income property, you could rent, uh, live in the home if you wanted and rent uh, cabins out back here, or you could just make the entire place a rental opportunity. A bit further up from that clearing where you're just at, you can see this property has a really well established trail. With a bit of work, you could probably take a vehicle up through here, but right now you could definitely get four wheelers and snowmobiles in the winter time. According to the NRCS soil maps, the entirety of this 16.1 acres is placed loam. Uh, typically that could be good for growing trees, which is what's happening right now. If you did a bunch of clearing and you took out the pretty massive rocks, it also can be good for farming. Uh, and grazing as well. The topography of this lot starts at about 475 feet above sea level towards the road, and that's the northeast corner, and then it gradually slopes down to 350 feet above sea level on the southwest side. According to the seller, this lot has not been cut in quite some time. You can see some older growth in through here, but there is a lot of younger stuff uh, in the middle here that's quite thick and not as easy to walk through. Well, you can tell that we're with Phil McPhail's daughter because we're in the middle of the woods. Um, but now we're gonna talk about the location. So once again, the home is located in Lincoln, Maine, which is Penobscot County. It's about five miles from the Lincoln Shopping Center and the local hospital. You're about 52 miles from Bangor, 54-ish miles from the uh, Bangor International Airport. Boston's about four and a half hours away. <laughs> If you have um, children and you plan on living here year round, your children go to RSU 67. All three schools are right in the uh, center of Lincoln, so about five, six miles away. You may remember Pete's video about the Lincoln Loon Festival. That's coming up in July. This year's theme is Loon Olympics. Another thing to point out before we head inside is this ramp was built about two to three years ago. So you've got handicap access to the home through the sun porch. The main entrance to the home has this nice covered porch. Let's head inside and take a look at the home. When you enter this home, you enter right through into the mudroom, which also houses the washer and dryer for your laundry. And off the mudroom, you enter right into the kitchen, which has ample storage and a great layout. And also in this kitchen, you have a decent sized pantry that has a spice rack built right in on the door. 
Off the kitchen is the dining room. You can fit a good sized table in here. And one of the features I really like are these um, built-ins on either side. This one has a coffee nook, which is exactly what I would do with it. This home has a very spacious living room. Uh, it's kind of a wraparound through the kitchen, dining room, and living room area, so it's not exactly open concept, but it's still very open. This living room has a new heat pump, a closet for storage on the other side, and tons of outlets all around the room, which is really convenient. This home has had many updates to it. There's new paint in most of the rooms. There's a new metal roof on it within the last few years, new flooring, and new windows throughout. The first closet you come to in the hallway is a storage closet. It also has the well pump in here. Most double wides would also have the furnace in this closet, but this home has electric baseboard heating. At this end of the home, you have the primary bedroom, the other two spare bedrooms, and your bathroom. The primary bedroom has the second of the two new heat pumps, and all of these bedrooms have really good sized closets. The bathroom has ceramic tile flooring and the closet behind the door also houses your water heater. One of the nice features that I like about this home is this screened in porch. You've got 180 degree uh, screens that give you a great view of your front yard. You can come out here in the morning and have a cup of coffee or have a few drinks at night. Before we wrap up the video, we're going to head to the boat launch, which is in walking distance from the home. It's for the upper cold stream pond. We're down here now at the Upper Cold Stream Pond boat launch. This body of water is actually broken into two pieces. Uh, the entirety of Upper Cold Stream Pond is 685 acres. Uh, this is the west end, it's 499 acres, and its max depth is 66 feet. Uh, if you're a fisherman, landlocked salmon and brook trout can be found here primarily. Uh, there are also white and yellow perch, chain pickerel, sunfish, uh, and rainbow smelts. Again, thank you for watching with us. Um, that was 161 Stanhope Mill Road. It is a three bedroom, one bath, double wide with 16.1 acres in Lincoln, Maine, which is in Penobscot County. The taxes on this are $1,517 as of 2023. And in that 16.1 acres, you have not only the house, but two carports, a shed, all kinds of recreation here in the town of Lincoln, including this awesome boat lodge behind us. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want more information, give Rebecca or I a call at 800-286-6164. We'd be happy to send you a inf property information package, the interactive map, or come and show it to you. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon.